It's insane it's been one year since I started using Buffer to schedule social media posts, engage with followers, and track my online growth. And today, I'm excited to share my step-by-step -step tutorial with you. If you're on the lookout to expedite your Buffer learning curve from beginner to pro, you've came to the right place. I'll walk you through connecting accounts, scheduling social media posts, and some of the features that weren't exactly intuitive, but have really revolutionized my social media game. Let's go. Hey friends, welcome back. Joe Zeppelin here. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Buffer. This tool just generally saves me about 10 hours a week and I think it can really help you out. All I ask in return is that you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button right there if you like to stay up to date on all things AI, business, and tech. Now let's get to it. Signing up for Buffer is free and here's a list of all the different social media accounts you're gonna be able to connect. All you have to simply do is add your email and get started. When you log into Buffer for the first time, you're gonna see this screen here where you're gonna be able to add all your different social media accounts. So on the left side, you're gonna be able to see all the different social media accounts you can connect. Simply select the one you're interested in, use your general login information, and that account will be connected. Buffer is gonna give you specific instructions on what's needed to connect that social media platform. And this is what I meant earlier when I said I want to expedite your learning curve. This process here took me multiple iterations to figure out. So I'm going to put up on the screen here all the requirements you need to connect that form of social media. So for instance, in order to connect Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, these have to be business accounts. So for Facebook, this is the equivalent of a Facebook page. And for TikTok and Instagram, these are the equivalent of business accounts or creators accounts. These changes are all free to make and super simple. All you have to do is log into settings on that specific platform and toggle on a button. Here on the screen is how to do that in Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok if you wanna change your standard account to a business account. Now that your accounts are connected, let's go through the process of actually scheduling a social media post. At the top of the screen here, you're gonna see a bunch of different tabs. One of those is called Publish. So let's select there to go to Buffer's Post Planner. So Buffer's Post Planner is a calendar which will show you all your scheduled content today and anywhere into the future. Now, ours is blank because we don't have any posts scheduled. So let's go ahead and select new posts in the top right and create our first scheduled social media post. Once selected right here, you're gonna be able to see all your connected social media accounts. So we went ahead and connected TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you select something like Instagram, it'll show you whether you wanna schedule a post, a reel, or a story. Same thing for Facebook and TikTok. So let's go ahead and schedule one post for all three of these platforms at the same time. So let's select Instagram, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And now in the box here, we're gonna be able to add what we like to post. So let's go ahead and drop that in. You'll see we added some emojis to make it more eye-catching. And then we wanna add an attachment since this is going out as a real or TikTok equivalent. Let's select that here. Now you'll watch it load as we have an uploaded attachment. And now my favorite feature buffer is actually this AI assistant here. And it's really, really great for hashtags. So what I like to do is go into the AI assistant box here and ask what are the best hashtags for this social media post, drop in my post, and now you'll see it automatically generate a bunch of optimal hashtags for this post. So it seems like there's a bunch here. You can actually make modifications to the post. So let's go ahead and ask it to be shorter. Great, we'll copy these hashtags and drop it in our post. One feature I really like about Buffer is it actually tells you the requirements to post on that social media platform. And if you don't get these correct, the post isn't gonna go through. So here on YouTube, you'll see this little exclamation point here. It's telling us we need a title. And while we're doing that, we can even select the category. And if we want this public or private. This really helps us be impactful with the little tweaks that can really emphasize our social media posts. Now, something also to consider that's incredibly important is character limits. For instance, Pinterest have way different character limits than something like Facebook or even look at YouTube. That's kind of crazy, right? If you don't get those right, your posts aren't going to go through, so make sure you pay attention to these. If you have to adjust character limits, here's where you'll do so in all the different social media platforms. And now just scroll down to this add to queue button, select schedule posts, and now you can choose the date and time you want to schedule that social media post. Which brings us to our next question. How do you know the optimal time to schedule your social media post? Well, Buffer has the answer. My favorite feature of Buffer is it actually recommends the best time to post based on when the bulk of your audience is online on that specific platform. To see data like this, just go to their analytics dashboard. And here you can have a breakdown of your data for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, 
all your different connected social media accounts. And a good rule of thumb is you want your social media posts to be scheduled right before the bulk of your audience is online. For instance, for us on the YouTube channel here, the bulk of our audience is online Monday afternoons, right about the time people are finishing up work. So we schedule all of our content for 4 p.m. on a Monday. So it's available right about the same time when the bulk of your audience is online and something new that they can enjoy when they're traditionally on those social media platforms. This has really been a huge help to revolutionize revolutionized by social media game. Before we move on to my favorite feature buffer, YouTube analytics shows that less than 1% of people watching videos on the channel are actually subscribed. Since we release videos every Monday on all things AI, business, and tech, go ahead and consider subscribing. You're simply just getting a notification every Monday when we create a video like this one, comparing Metrical, Buffer, and Hootsuite, deep diving how each one of those platforms work. And that's really a game changing video. So go ahead and consider subscribing and let's move on to my favorite feature. Now, the single feature that has allowed me to grow my online presence the quickest is Buffer's analytics dashboard. You'll be able to see your followers, which posts are performing best, analytics like click-through rate and engagement, and my favorite customer demographics. Now, Buffer's free version allows you to see data on the last three months for all your different connected social media accounts. You could upgrade to their paid version where you can see data on all your social media accounts for as long as they were connected on Buffer. But like I said, I don't really see the need to do this. All of the information for the last three months is on there. I use a completely free tool, but I wanted to let you know that those options are available if you choose to do so. Of all the different features we're to talk about today this is the one that has allowed me to engage with my social media community the best and it's called the inbox management tool on the inbox tab it's really easy to respond to people for all your different social media accounts in one centralized spot here you can see things like comments direct messages and threads what's really helpful here is this little filter button where you can filter for all the things that you haven't responded to and go ahead and respond to those elements to engage with your followers and this is really important to do so in the moments right after after posting your social media post because it really drives engagements with your audience at the time that they're looking at your social media posts. If you're liking the video so far, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let's connect. Tell me what your thoughts are about buffers so far. Lastly, I want to show you one final trick that ensures all your social media followers who follow you on one platform also have the opportunity to follow you on all your other platforms. It really doesn't make sense to have someone follow you on one form of social media, but not the rest of them. How do we capitalize on this? Now to create this centralized hub, Buffer has a feature called a starts page. And here you can go ahead and add your profile along with the links to all your different social media platforms. And when someone navigates to that link, they can go ahead and connect to all your different forms of social media. Now, personally, I don't use the start page from Buffer. It is only available in their paid version and the customization of the tool is fairly limited. You can't really change that much. The tool I use is Linktree. Now Linktree is also a free tool. TikTok actually recently partnered with Linktree to bring more audience to different content creators as one centralized hub where someone can navigate to and connect to all your different social media platforms. If you want to learn how to do this and you found enjoyment out of this video, I recommend you do three things. One, like this video. It really helps the channel grow and shows that the audience is enjoying the content. Two, consider subscribing so you get a notification every time we release something on AI, business, and tech. And number three, most importantly, go watch that video on how to make a link tree. It will take five minutes. It's our most popular video on the channel and it's a really incredible tool to upgrade your social media game. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.